scoring, so he did okay. Look at where we're at now as we move into the second half of the night one of the Auckland Darts Masters. Here we go. Hope by Buha. Can't do it, but there you go. Kyle Anderson at Barnabout is through. Mark McGrath, the big upset. Rob Cross goes through, and Simon Whitlock. Rod Harrington, that was a clutch performance, you might say, by Anderson, considering he was 1-3 down. Yes, I mean, his performance in the early part of the game was not good at all. He had one dart of the double to go 4-1 up. But what Anderson did, which is impressive to me, he stuck in there, he kept his focus, and he turned it around. He went from like an 87 average up to just under 95. So he ran off those legs at a good pace. Got to say, though, the Kiwis are certainly showing that they are into play here on night number one of the Auckland Darts Masters, where the snake bite is up next. Well, for me, this is the first of the three marquee players taking part tonight. Peter Wright, who has a pretty special head design tonight, and New Zealand crowd will love it. He's a dollar four, very short. Tahuna Irwin, I can tell you backstage here, he's been warming up for no less than three hours. With the big headphones on, he is ready to rumble. Nine dollars for him to tip over the great Peter Wright. So it's time to bring it. It's the young kid from Gisborne, Tahuna Irwin, against one of the most colourful characters in the game, Peter Wright. and gentlemen welcome back to the amazing city of Auckland yes welcome along to the Auckland Darts Masters presented by TAB and Burger King and now ladies and gentlemen it's time to meet the players from New Zealand and our world championship qualifier it's time to meet the beast Tahuna and German Darts Masters Champion. Let's get this party started! Snake Boy, Peter! Peter Wright bringing in the Kiwi crowd with two Kiwis painted on the right side of his head as he gets ready to face off to Kiwi in Tahuna Irwin. With the call, it's Rod Harrington and Glenn Lama. Yes, Peter Wright. Good to have him back in New Zealand. And yes, that is some great artwork on the side of his head. Tahuna Irwin 
a 21 year old from Gisborne nicknamed the beast and, uh, he's a real up-and-comer in the sport here qualifying already for the world youth championships and the world championships but uh, he's got a big name opponent there world number two at the moment Peter Wright looking for a bit of success in Auckland actually this is his fourth visit he has never made it past the quarterfinals so he'll be hoping to get into the last four bare minimum this time and here is Irwin Wright is out on him and he could be a tighter watch going forward the youngster from Gisborne Yes, that's the word, Glenn. I, I spoke to him, as I mentioned earlier on, we did some local TV here and uh, he was having a practice and I just had a look over his throw and uh, couldn't see anything wrong with it. And the last three darts, he hit three bullseyes. Very impressive. But this man, Peter Wright, he's a headache, an absolute nightmare. I would not manage this guy because I've got grey hair and I think I'd pull it out. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, Glenn, he changes his darts literally match on match. In his box on that stand, he's got six other sets of darts. They're all different. So if he starts off bad, he said, I'll just change them. I mean, you've got to have an unbelievable mindset to be able to change your darts like he does and still be as brilliant as what he is. Erwin is a very quietly spoken chap. 81. And last year was in the crowd with his mates right here in Auckland. Here he is 12 months later competing in this event. 43. Well, no doubt those mates are in the crowd with a few other mates now. <laughs> 100. Never a big 180 hit to Peter Wright, but hits tremendous amount of 140s. And to be quite honest, when you hit that amount of 140s, you're always going to get chances. They are the mainstay of a professional scoring. Right play, Corey Cadby in the first round last year. Lost. It's got a chance here Did to take a one nil lead. Yeah, good start for right. Yes, I think he'll probably carry on the second leg with this set of darts as well. <laughs> 140. It's more of that consistency from Peter Wright, still to come, remember, Michael Van Gerwen, Gary Anderson. 100. Well, last week, Peter Wright's darts were what we'd call the barrel-shaped. Uh, sorry, a, a, a bomb-shaped. You know, they were more bulbous, which... Once you get two in the treble 20, you can't really find enough room to put another one in there. But these straight barrel darts, you can obviously get a lot more in that treble. I'm very nervous. <laughs> well, yes, that's mum in the, in the crowd. Wishing the best for her boy. 140. I wanna, I also wouldn't want to take him on in a steering contest either, would you, Rod? I think we'd lose that one. Yeah, I think he's just rushing the darts a little bit, Glenn. He needs to just, you know, take a little bit of extra time, especially on the last dart. He wasted that one. Oh, he's going to open the gate, and the way Peter Wright's playing at 106 average, just over the 104 uh, four now, he's going to be tough to beat, so you can't waste darts at all. 59. Oh, usually those, as we watch right here, Nice finish again, right, He's two out of two. 
and he breaks Irwin's throw. The early initiative too. Right, just watch Irwin when he changes down, Roddy. Very subtle move. Usually they're quite obvious, aren't they, the, the players, but not him. Yeah, he doesn't move his head or something. It's just the... Oh, perhaps we'll just get the spot of glasses or something like that. <laughs> Easy one. He needed to get off to a good start, did, did young Irwin. You know, once you let Peter Wright get into a rhythm, he's going to be a tough cookie to crack now. He needs to find another trouble. Well, you Irwin. see what I mean about, sorry, mm. Glenn, that last dart, you can't do that against Peter Wright in this sort of a mood. Well, he's yet to hit a 140, Irwin, in this match. 100. Already. Peter Wright has passed 144 times. Sixty-four. Yeah, he took a chance there, Peter Wright. He could have gone for a bullseye, but he was thinking that. Oh, to who was going to not take this out? That's unlucky. But he's put a bit of pressure on. But Peter Wright, two out of two on his double so far. Twenty-four. He's given Irwin a chance. Twenty. Breaks the throw of Wright as well. Let's see what confidence booster that will be. As we head into league number four. Game on. Irwin reached qualification 60. for this event, winning the New Zealand first qualifier, beating Warren French 6 3 in the final of that event. 46. Peter Wright has gone from 106 average after two legs down to 90 average. 96. And that's where Peter Wright's game has been. Last week in the, the, the match play, he played two beautiful games of darts and then against Mensa Sulevich, although he's a tough guy to crack Mensa, he just kept losing it. You know, two legs, three legs playing well, then losing it. And that's what he's done here. So if so who can uh, you what know get it, string a couple of legs together? He can get himself some control in this game. Sixty. There is the New Zealand winner of the night, Mark McGrath. Is that a smile or what? He's enjoying it, rightly so. Fifty-nine. Oh, just not finding his range at the moment. Better from right. 140. Still no 180s in this match. Attempts, he's missed his next four, Peter Wright. Double 16 for the win. 52. Video corner 36. And takes a ball the dice, but Wright give him an opportunity. He's got a full no, he doesn't. Yes, the worst switch on the dark board, 18 to 9, but. Reverse. Game on. Peter Wright, no problem. And he's just got a little bit edgy. Needs to just get his consistency up. Could this be the first maximum of the match? Yes. Mr. 
21st of the tournament so far. So we're over a quarter of the way there for the Burger King 8180s. Double, triple deal to come true. There are 8180s or more scored 100. in this tournament. And starting Sunday, double cheeseburgers will be $2.50 and triple cheeseburgers $3.50 to until August the 10th, it's Friday here in New Zealand. Only a burger king. Nice start there in that one, Rod. Well, Peter Wright, you know, 2 1 up. Over the 100 average slides down to just around the 90 average. Now he's coming back with some strong legs again. If he's going to go on and win this, he's certainly going to have to smarten you know, those dull legs up. Want to take a 4 1 lead? Double top. First attempt. So he takes that 4-1 lead, and now he has got complete control in this match. This is going to take an epic comeback now from Irwin, the youngster from Gisborne. 96. Right, looking very good. Move through to the next round. Coming up, Michael Van Gerwen, the world number one, up against the New Zealand's Cody Harris. Well, you'd think he would get six darts from here, but treble 19 would have left the bullseye. 64. Wow, this would be... He really needs this one now, Rod, doesn't he? 60. Yes, and it, I mean, Peter let him off there, but 96 is easy to get a ball. Double 10. Oh, and he's going to have to move. Has he moved the right way? I'd have moved left. But what do I know? <laughs> you know a lot, Rod. Irwin. Cuts that lead to two legs for Peter Wright. Solid darts here from Wright. Should see him home. 49. He's going to need better than that. Well, there we have the averages, as I said, oh, that's his second maximum of the game. Peter Wright is just turning the screw, moving up on those averages. That's 22, 180s. The 80s is going to be beaten easily. It will be, won't it? Did 
Well, the first dart was a bit of stray, certainly the second two were not. Bullseye double top for Peter Wright, and now he takes a 5-2 lead. One away from a quarter-final place. Yeah, this is solid stuff from Wright, isn't it? Well, Irwin's just not... He'll be walking away disappointed if he can't fashion a miraculous comeback here. 121. He's not really able to put pressure on, is he, Rod Irwin? No, while he's only hitting one treble a visit, he's always opening the door for Peter Wright, although that will help him. Oh, another one of those would help out. 96. I was just about to say, Glenn, just don't miss the big numbers. You know, if you're not going to take it out, set it up perfectly. Oh, he got out of jail with that last guy. Well, this is important for Irwin, not only to prolong the match, just to get one under his belt. Double eight now. Hard to it. That would be his last start in this match. Double 14 for the win. Double seven now. And comes back. He requires 16. He puts leg three on the board with his last start. Now he's going to have to break. That's his mum. She's probably going through it more than what her son is, as all the families and friends always do. No fighting, ladies. <laughs> 134. Hammering away on the 19s quite successfully. 55. Now, well, this is another area where, where Peter Wright is starting to come off the form again he's he's average is starting to drop and uh, he needs a good visit here that's right just to get himself back online which it looks like he's going to 140 81 he's here to 121 Peter Wright Still has a chance with the bullseye. And he finishes with a flourish. Snake White right. And he reaches the quarterfinals of the Auckland Darts Masters.
third time in four years. It's Peter Wright, the world number two, marching on, beating Tahuna Irwin six to three.